difference. Yes, difference. yes, now for example, for example, he if you have a bachelor and a, a married man of the same age, mm. and some of them lose their job, you know that, that married man probably gets a job faster than that bachelor. Actually, that's pretty true. <laughs> yes, now because you are, uh, you can't even sleep where you 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 you, you can't even sleep for five hours. You are sleeping by eight o'clock. What are you going to do? Yes, I exactly. go to sleep. Exactly. 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 So that's why when he's, he's got a kid. Exactly. Oh, so I advise young men to. Oh, okay, so I advise young men to have children. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't yeah, like see, you see, you're entering into dangerous no, 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 please don't do it. I that I have children. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not advising young men to have children. To have children without no, getting a job. No, no, I, uh, I, I can't. Advise. Greatest show on the land. Thank you very much. Oh, of course, of course. Adak po. Ah no. See that po, that po. What is it? Adak po. Adak po. Adak po. Oh, I'm seeing the link. Well, let's continue. I'm seeing the link. I'm seeing the link. Yeah, yeah. All right. So today, don't tell me. Um, <laughs> let's just jump right in. All right. It's difficult times. Um, the naira has been changed. We have issues with um, people paying for for food items. For food items and all that. All right, so we've had a long journey. Um, I think today, what we should just try to tackle today is we have to help people understand process. And it's, it's extremely hard because if you haven't experienced something like this before, you probably would feel that it's... We've been through difficult times like this. Um, going down memory lane, I still remember 1999, when, 1993 rather, when the election that um, MQ Abiola allegedly won which was annulled and but there was chaos on the streets there was there was difficulty i think they also bond i i don't i'm not sure they bond banks around that time but i i, I know that there was there's a lot of unrest and in the middle of all this difficulty it's it's extremely hard giving people advice on what to do okay so on a case by case basis we probably may i think we want to look how we can explore what people can so the first issue on ground is accessing funds the average person we're talking to um how does the average person go about his day-to-day -day activity well i think the person who the person actually talk to at the sm is the people doing business they open account ah but it's, it's, going it's, it's, business. It's, 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 account. It, it's difficult the problem sometimes is not even they running business or people selling to the final consumers it's the people that the retailers buy from especially in the open air markets most of them hmm. Uh, I, the women. I'm, not, I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. For I'm example, if you have a shop from. and the person tells you he doesn't accept transfer, the person is saying that because if he puts, if you give him money in the bank, the people is going to buy from, should I say, the wholesalers in the open air market usually. They don't accept transfer. They don't accept transfer, sure, so it's yeah, going to be difficult yes. for. It's difficult to say yes. to a new seller that doesn't. Have, what, what are you saying? Wholesaler so, doesn't accept transfer. <laughs> this man. Actually, bro. It's difficult. Everyone, it's mostly retail that doesn't have transfer now. If exactly. you are selling goods of 100k... in the village who have, have bank accounts. Ah, but they, no, no, they, no, they might not be using it too. Yeah, I don't agree with that. All sellers, guys. All sellers accounts. have... The villagers. women in the open air market, I think they might not be willing to collect transfer. Yeah, right. but, 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 but that doesn't See, mean that, that they don't they, have... They always have a bank account. But the reason why they might not be willing to collect is because there's no cash. But that one's yes. give a card. They or, get... or, or, or they might be saying that this stuff might hang network issue. Uh, no people say we use the opportunity to scam people. And yeah, yes, exactly. Yes. That's why, yeah, all the stuff. But it's advising that those guys you have. Really? So, so we don't have a solution for people. Eh? Of course we do. What's the solution? Same Bro, I not, think people should, government. should so patronize. To them. No, you can't. People should patronize, for example, for your... You should patronize more for this, like say, mini malls and supermarket. I think those ones. I think it's totally yes. Is that someone that has? There are no more closer now. You have to get a vehicle or probably a keke to the mall. So, so what? So what advice do you give someone who has to first travel like two two hours to get to the nearest mall? <laughs> you say my advice. I'll give someone that has four car but I can't tell the guy anything. What does the bank confess? What does the guy say? You don't think I just you don't think you just think part of the guy. Well, I, because I, under, I understand because cheap. sometimes I, I just thought about people living in rural, riverine areas and the kind of 
problem they are going through now. Uh, uh. I know people who, before they will get to the nearest bank, eh, they can take boots ride of like three hours. Wow. Yeah. If of I, course now. To get to the shore, then take a bus to the bank. Bank, actually. So, three hours on water. Yes, now. Wow. So when how, you... How, I, I just, how far away is that? Those people that are, are living... Pardon, are they paddling their can, canoes or what? Speed boats. Three hours. And you spend three yes. hours on speed boats. Yes, Wait, I think that's shit. the... Even this Lagos, they go to Goni. Even this Lagos, I, 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 I know place you have to spend 700 near to get to the bank. Where is that? <laughs> you ask question, bro. <laughs> is it to get to the bank or to come back? <laughs> to go and come back. No, no, no. To, to go, go alone now. 700. Okay. <laughs> Okay, like Cheapest five hundred. That the collectors are, are are nice to you. Five hundred. So you spend like a thousand or so. Just to go to the bank, go to do the of seven hundred. To go and withdraw a thousand naira. Go ahead, exactly. spend a thousand yeah. naira. Spend a thousand naira. So that that situation then do you have problem with banks. All right, so so we don't have any solutions for people. You, you can just sympathize with them and say them oh, so get better. Sir, we don't better. know what's working in the house. Well, even those farm. even those in the in the end of affairs in the government say that. <laughs> I don't want to say they're confused. <laughs> like, what? Like churches, we can't do what are the way did. All will be well. All the guy just locked up. Read, read, can I can't tell you anything. That read, be... read the Bible <laughs> verse, like read this verse and read exactly. this verse. Exactly, it can't solve the problem. Read all all, all will be well. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say, are they will don't lie to us. Tell us the truth. All can't be well. I'm serious. I think people are angry. If you look at that, people are angry. You know that. You know that comment. You know that. You see that. You see people pouring out that frustration. Say, "Kill this man, the wine us. All will be well, bro." But I think as, as, as at times like this, I think it's important to just remember that there've always been times like this. Exactly. It's people who are much. True, true, it's true. people who are much younger. Pass. It's people who are much younger that probably would you be under that pressure. All right. So. I don't pass with it. Oh, you so don't I pass. think <laughs> a couple of things. Um, one house piece. There's a couple of things I think we should keep at the back of our minds. Um, the first thing is that this particular problem is not affecting one person. Yeah. All right. We're passing through this, and this is something that happens probably once in eight years. So it seems quite intense while it's happening, but as much as possible, um, the important thing is that you just don't die. Just stay alive. Uh, just stay alive. That's the important thing. Um, as much as possible, one should try to to avoid li- large crowds because there's a natural tendency that when you when you find yourself in large crowds, you you would get more as angry as possible. You, you would you would see people that will feed into your anger. It's not something that a single individual can tackle. So I think we have to keep that back of our minds. However, however, hopefully by the time the election is by the time this video goes up and all that, uh, things would have been resolved a bit. Elections would have held, and things there will be a, at least a return to a bit of normalcy. Hopefully, so okay. So if we can't help people with the Nigerian situation, how do we help people prepare for for a world after? Um, when normalcy has been restored, how can we act to take advantage of the challenges that exist? Hey, there have been so many layoffs. Like what? the end of the year, it's election period now. Actually, and for the election period, say, people have been like. I don't think you can actually like. like no, most most of the time after election, we have a new government. Exactly, you have a new government. So and and the new government brings about new policies, and these new policies might lead to new opportunities and so on. So it's <sighs> it's uh, a time to look into the activities of the new government and where you can. And actually, okay, and actually, I think because opportunities will open up obviously, yeah. so right, I think people just prepare themselves so that when the opportunity comes up, you won't feel, oh, yeah. I should have taken this. So, but so how, how, how would you advise you to prepare? Well, I'll probably have to advise myself first. <laughs> you want them to buy Starlink internet, are we? <laughs> no, I, I just feel I, that I'll if... subscribe to Dark Boy YouTube channel. If so there's a, subscribe to a YouTube channel. It's, uh, okay. something they are learning, probably a profession they are doing, a skill they are learning, a, a business they are running, anything at all that they are doing, they can just find a way to. And the we way doing to, digital. We have to be extremely practical. We can't give people um, <laughs> so, the focus on your focus advice. So, okay. We don't know the opportunities okay. that we're writing. If I add the old map to. We have been podcast. <laughs> facts, facts. I've had, had the opportunity to do this. Exactly. He, 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 he's not even nobody. Everybody has. Nobody uh, has a crystal ball. Yeah. So I can just talk. Okay. I, I can just encourage you. Do you see how I'm encouraging myself? Now, okay. Prepare for the opportunity okay. that will pull okay. up and all those stuff. So you want to you find yourself. You should look into the activities of the new government. Uh, I, 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 I think we don't know. We should be specific. You can, you can monitor the activities. If you are, if you are a student, and then if, if, if you are a worker, what if the person you are, you are predicting would 
But where, actually, and it doesn't, the person doesn't... Where anybody, anybody that wins then, it comes with opportunities. Um, and that's what you, okay. you said now that you, you, you look into the opportunities the new government will bring. Yeah. You don't know who is to win. What? Yes. The new government can be anybody. Do you advise an undergraduate? A third year, on, no, third year, probably be, final year. Be brain that the new final government focus on as to, fo- Final year students should do to prepare himself for... I think that one gives more context. Okay, so let's start with final year student then. Like okay, if final year student. What advice? Well, well, he has been praying for four years there <laughs> for the future. <laughs> so I think his preparations we we pay off. Well, it depends on if you have to advise someone that is in final year. It depends on the the person's course of study. General course now, biochemistry. Well, so I don't think <laughs> good. Good, good, better work in bank. I don't know why I said I, I bank. <laughs> I'm proud because I'm. What was the thing that I thought I was better? Echo, echo bank also open. Go with your CV. The, the new government comes in with infrastructure. Uh, that prayer way. is not actually solution? strategy. Prayer is not the strategy, man. <laughs> How do you tell the guy? Well, pray? Okay, so what do you tell the guys? Do? You just hope that. I can't no, hope you so I think it's hope. important. I'll, I'll take a couple of things. So if if the person is an undergraduate and is a guy, all right, yeah. I'll advise him two things. The way Nigeria is now, the way Africa is, the way the entire world is structured right now as an undergraduate, just make sure you graduate. Yes. <laughs> that's that's the yeah. first step. So sure the you from your because it's extremely hard in the world today to build and grow organizations, to grow business ideas. It's, it's not as if it's not possible. But, it's but right now, it's extremely difficult. Most organizations, it takes years to get products out the door and all that. So let's just first graduate. That's the first thing. Secondly, if the person is a guy, and I stress this because... Yeah, because we are men. Yeah, you should make sure it doesn't impregnate anybody, <laughs> because that um, that's another point. Uh, if you run now, because the cost, no, you can't uh, run now. That you because the cost of that. If you deny him now, ah, you see, no being gay, belly. We are less that you are going to edit this video, and so, <laughs> and you can just give birth to your photocopy. So, quick question: Udi, if you impregnate person daughter now. Will you like be dead to ourselves? Have, have you, the way you're standing, have you denied anybody any pregnancy recently? No, no. We yeah. don't do that. You're so confident. Actually, like, you're standing, you're standing there. You're standing like, you give... like Shaggy. It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> <if you're... laughs> If you give person belly now, you go accept the entire responsibility. Well, I don't go give person belly. Yes, if, right. if you don't, you, you don't go first come off face for like two years, no shoe. I know now he's bad. Don't focus on your life. So he's a very, he's a responsible young man. He's also responsible now. So that's that. Only engage in that kind of abuse. You should use. You should try to prevent it from happening. Yes. If you can't abstain, mm. then use something that will protect the stuff from happening. Mm. Mm. There, are, there are various forms of bed control. All right? mm-hmm. So, and young men should. But you beyond that, really, I think the emphasis for most people do not take on responsibilities that you're not prepared. Jokes aside, do not take respons- resp- do not take on responsibilities that you cannot handle. Okay, you shouldn't put yourself on, on, under undue pressure. Right now, most people, including organizations, Everybody is focused on just the basics, yeah. all right? I, I, I talk to people who, who run organizations and also people in government and people are just, their emphasis is just don't die. If you have an organization, if you're running a business, you ensure your business does not die. If yeah, you're running, even the thing, yeah. If you're running an organization, ensure it doesn't die. Ensure that you yourself, you do not die. So <laughs> I think that's the emphasis. For young people who are graduating school, focus on graduating so that you can get out because... The longer, the longer one stays. Um, so why they are trying to graduate? Is there anything they can do? Because actually, the pressure is more intense when they graduate than when they are undergraduate. So is there anything they can do to reduce the pressure when they graduate? It also, it's all, again, it depends on. I, I guess, maybe, we should, maybe we should start. Do we, maybe we should ask your thoughts on that, and then I'll come in. Is he Adams? Yes, now. Because I'm uh, technically, we're technically, probably technically, ad- yeah, advising. Technically, no, no, I'm not, I'm not stating because of anything. I'm no, just asking. I should have graduated since 2021. Yeah. Like, I suppose I'm almost because 2021. But you are still there. But you are still there, so. I did. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did you do? Right? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I should look almost because I should. I didn't get just finish with the guy. Like, no, 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 no. You, you, I, I didn't. I didn't mention. I didn't mention anything about whether you are still in school or not. I was just asking that your thoughts based on. Yeah, but you, you directed the question based on the fact that like I'm still a final year student. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't state that. Have you got it? Yeah, you just stated it. Yeah, you, you just stated. I didn't state that. You no, I'm going round in this circle. <laughs> you just you walked into that. I didn't state that. No, I was no, asking your thoughts. Normal stuff that. Actually, so bro, thoughts. thoughts. There's no thought to guy. Yeah, go and go and get your. Yeah, I think. Get the skill, bro. Because you can't. Okay, you get that graduated. 
What did you guys do when you were, when, you were, when you were in university so you can prepare? So you what did, what have you guys done to prepare? I was like a ping pong. <laughs> Bro, eh? <laughs> so, 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 what did you do in final year? So I think I should advise this as a big brother now. Eh? What did you do in final year? So, 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 so you say big bro, not bro. Shots fired. What did you do in final year? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think every final year today to make it easier for you. Okay, what me I did the final year? Mm. Was anyone what me I did the final year? Yeah, what did so, you okay, do? Okay, when I was in, it was from year three. There was no actually. crisis when you were in final year now. There was no crisis. Yeah, for, it is. Yeah, there was no crisis. But there's really time, yeah. no crisis yet. So. Okay, I I actually got a job two weeks after no... I graduated. Two weeks. Yes. Yeah, let me say, I know I know the final job currently. No, no, no. I'm just saying that the reason why was why that happened was when I was in year three, I was actively learning skill and doing my final year work and all the stuff that you get. So before I graduated, I already had one year experience in that stuff. Okay. Uh, hey, so I've been going for meetings, conference, and all those two. like I, I just put all, this, all those stuff together and okay. apply. So it was easier. So I advise young in people. summary. So it's. But you realize that actually most people I know, they actually like have like something they are doing. And that's what I'm saying that so, if you have anything you are doing, I think you just intensify it. Try to make more, make sure it's not a passion. No. Passion. Try as much as possible to, if there's a way you can monetize it. Because the point you get. Intense when you believe. Get worse, Use the yeah. word worse, Worse, be actually when you graduate. We're going to get down. It's easier yeah. when you are in school. I tell you easier. But when you, when you are in school, mm, okay, you don't figure as you graduate. You finished with um, a guy that is about graduating. Now about the lady that is about graduating. I think you actually applies to both now. I think it applies to both, but I, I, I would say the the more, difference, I more emphasis on the guy. Yes, I, 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 it has to be more serious. Why? And lady well, have to be more beautiful. I think it's more beautiful. Don't do the pull your head. <laughs> All right, so let's 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 no, take, let's balance it too now. Let's, let's look at it this from this way. Um, mm. for it's most not. young men. All right, for most young men, women between the age of twenty one to twenty seven, they tend to live life on easy mode. Okay, you one way or the other, you you. They have it. They, one way or the other, there are ways in which. They get income and all that coming for them, either by way of uncles and all that. Parents tend to be a bit more um, lenient. Lenient. lenient and more generous yeah. with girls. I'm not saying that's for all ladies. Yeah, so yeah. the young man faces pressure because, particularly in our culture, it's expected that the young man in our culture is supposed to, by the time he's out of school, he's supposed to stand on his two feet. Okay, and we, we know what the statistics are saying presently right now. Nigeria graduates about over a million people, over a million, 600,000. 600, That's from university alone, from tertiary institution, from tertiary, all tertiary institution is up to a million. I think, I'm not sure of the statistics, we'll, we'll check that out, but between 600,000 to a million graduates enter the labor market in Nigeria every single year. Okay, and, and that puts a lot of pressure on you, particularly if you, if you come from a family background where either your parents are close to retiring or your parents run petty businesses and all that it puts a lot of pressure on you so i think it's important for particularly for young men because you, you don't have the safety nets that women have in our culture okay so and that's why my emphasis on my the advice or counsel i'll give is young men and i'll tell them that as much as possible you want to start out with what the one side of the skills that the market will demand and the market wants to pay for yeah there's the natural tendency that people want to do things that um that excite them Okay. You will find a lot of people say they want to either go into music production, they want to sing and all that. The challenge with those is the people who, who can survive in music production usually are people who do not have to deal with the bills of day-to-day -day expenses. You, mm. you, you see people giving examples of David Bonner Boy and the rest. And it, there's this phrase that person where they, they support be different from person where they support person. So, so for young men, there has to be that emphasis. And it's hard. People are going to try several things before they find something that works. Okay, my own counsel is that, as much as possible, if you can get a job before you graduate, perhaps some form of internship somewhere or a place where you can um, apply a skill that you have and all that before you graduate, it helps. And um, okay, continue. Let me cut this Whatever one can save by way of around that time, save as much as you can. Okay, and then try to put it into as as much of. Um, things that would improve your productivity. If you're going to if you're going to need a computer, a laptop, and all that. If you don't have it before you leave school, it's something that you can try to get. I know that there are online courses that people can do. Those courses in of themselves, eh, you cannot build a career off them. 
but mm. they can prepare you for oh, yeah. what I for did. constant yeah. <laughs> because the world we live in right now is my own perception is this things are changing so fast that you find out that almost every I have it at the back of my mind. One of one of the things I, I put at the back of my mind is that every four years I would have to as a new government is being sworn into office, I have to find a way to prepare my skills for a new different kind of marketplace because opportunities will open up every four years. The opportunities that are open today that four years ago did not exist. About eight years ago, people didn't really think so much about podcasting or whatever. And yet we have a podcast right now with broadband, high speed internet access and the rest. Opportunities will open up for people in Nigeria to work on projects outside the country. So, and I think that as much as possible, if people can prepare digital skills, acquire digital skills as much as possible, one should do that. Also, I would also advise that people should to actually acquire um, add physical skills apart from the digital. So, for example, what do I mean by that? Um, being able to fix stuff, fixing. If you can take a course, a six month course in learning how to fix vehicles, for example, um, yeah. you can take a six month course apprenticing with somebody in welding the, the the skills that build society all right i was talking to um i think about a year ago i, I had a conversation with um with someone at a particular conference and they made the, the person mentioned that they needed welders for their project there and they had to fly in welders from china they couldn't find welders in Nigeria. Everybody's, everybody's, what, what is it? Everybody's in Nigeria. You're going to find welders in Nigeria. <laughs> For a construction project. Oh. The welders that they found, all right? The welders they found were... Yes, they were not, not, not that they were not skilled, no. The welders that they found, that not only were they subs- They couldn't communicate. They couldn't um, undo the, the kind of scale. structural welding oh. that they wanted. Oh, so okay. they found welders who could weld gates, welders that could weld burglaries, of houses and all that. But they couldn't find welders that would that would weld the foundations uh, for bridges or weld them. Uh, and that's what our mechanic engineering is supposed to be doing. It's supposed to be doing really so. Yeah, yeah, now na, all our mechanical engineers. Now is over. Now is over. Now And so I think we, I think it's, it's, it's one of those things that we have to look into. And all, and I'm hoping one of the things we are hoping is that at least during the course of this podcast, as we invite young people and um, recent graduates. And to join us in the podcast, we'll actually be able to open people's eyes to opportunities that they would not look at. For people who are not yet out of school, I think the best thing for them to do, all right, is to prepare for a for um for for a world of work and be practical with themselves. A lot of things that people were studying in universities do not necessarily prepare people for the, for for the marketplace. They are not skills that people. They are not particularly hard skills that people require. Okay, we have to find a way to solve problems. So. But now let's assume that we have people who have graduated around this time. Because this is difficult for most people who are working, who are earning incomes right now. The way Nigeria is, if we have to be honest with ourselves, it's extremely hard. If we had to talk to somebody, how, what, what kind of advice would you give someone who is, who, who is out of school and person is presently unemployed? Where do you start from? What, what advice do you give that? Because you don't have money to, for business, to so start yeah. a business or something. You just, yes, I think you just... I think the time you're at home, why... Applying for a job, you might learn learn other things, yes, and and and, and I believe that they must have learned something because most people actually before you by the time they finish school, they must have learned something one or two things. Most people, yeah, and so they can try and look at that again as well. Okay, for example, if I, when I was in school, I was learning a bit of not me, I'm just in general. Let's assume again, I was learning along in them, but probably she was not to see uh, maybe in year two and other stuff. And you are you finish school now, you are waiting on the job. They can it's something they can okay look into and try to sharpen that skill while they wait for the job. But how practical really is it? Is is, is tailoring? How practical is it? Because it in depends. today's in today's marketplace in a world where I don't know I don't know too many people right now, and I speak for I speak living in Lagos. Let's let's walk let's walk through the process now. All right, because we, we won't give people won't give people counsel and steps that they can apply. We have to be practical. People's lives. People's lives are, they matter. It's important. We can't, we can't. Um, this is not just creating content now, and I'm saying this seriously. If people can't apply this, they would, they're going to stop watching, All right? How practical is it for somebody who has never worked as a tailor before, All right, to acquire the skills to, skills of tailoring and pick up clients, All right, and start immediately? Immediately. Well, it takes. I, like, it takes I think it's it like twelve school. to eighteen months for you to actually, actually become very good in tailoring. Are you sure? 
Yes, 12 to 18 to months. Learn, yeah. Yes, now. Two, Even three more years than that. Okay, so let's, no, let's no, I mean, to be very skilled. Look at all these six months. All oh, these yeah. Nigerian, yes, yes. Nigerian structure that I have to be there for like years. All this one, they want to just use them for like work. You yeah. want to learn the skill. I don't think you should take at least three years, bro. All right, so let's let's say let's say twelve to eighteen months. Let's assume twelve to eighteen months. Right? Because I have like a friend that is a barber, and he told me like he actually got the skill, like learned everything under six months. Why some you see some people that are under their boss learning like learning the work, they'll be there like, for like two years. You obviously they're just using them. I learned you want to learn the skill itself, you pay, you pay, bro. Under yeah, six pay months, and, you are quite skill. Are you sure? Yeah, yes, no, it's like, uh, his own personal experience. Like, you can now, six you, months. You cannot sharpen it on your own. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. now you can learn that stuff. With, well, I don't know. I've not been there, but I've been something kind. Have you have you acquired Have you acquired? Um, yes, I've I've, I've learned this skill. But skills to me, now. I, I feel babbling is much more simpler. Damn. Yeah, really? oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it does. 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 Really trust Babas, yeah. Some people, I don't think my A is one and the blah blah blah. I'm majorly keeping the A, majorly, yeah. <laughs> okay. Babbing and tailoring falling, whether you, you may not want to accept it, but, but they actually fall under the creative arts, yeah. And they are difficult mm-hmm. for a particular reason. Once you make mistakes, eh, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't undo, you can't, undo. you can't do control Z. <laughs> that's the issue, but I, but I feel there's much complexity, and that's the feeling. Yeah, I actually, I actually do think so. There's more complex in there than Yes, it's because a majorly, majorly, you, major, you can't major, okay, it now. Give me a low cut. <laughs> this man. You now understand that low cut is even on low cut. Well, well, if 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 you go to a barber and the person cuts your hair, low. right? Cuts you your hair. Cut. If you, it depends on where you are. If you, if the person is cutting your hair and, and probably in in a rural community, or so you probably not care much. But if you're if you are paying. Two thousand five hundred five thousand to cut your hair in the city center in Ikeja, and then the person cuts anything. Ah, I remember. I'm a new problem. Something on that someone said he entered the barber shop <laughs> and they offered him wine. <laughs> the guy was there. So how much did he had? Five hundred. They give him wine. <laughs> you get so barbing. You may you may not, you may not, you may feel it's a simple skill, but it's, it's not simple. It's, it's um, simple it's, 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 there's a it's phrase I'm year. looking for. It's, it's it's one of those skills that that falls under it's cosmetic exactly that's the word i've been to many papers but it's only one person i can trust with my head so it's cosmetic or... and so getting your client um, list is a bit hard maybe you have not been paying well no which you paying well i've been barbers now the only one person the barber will say they say when i take the air to school then they say oh gee i like your air. only one person i've been to other papers they just see the air. people just see the air. they don't go but there's one particular man that cost my in my area I wonder if I cause the if I get when I, I was in school there. Is I get to school there? Who caused this air for you? Only what you are saying. It's, it's and what you are saying low cost. Cutting your your, your air low. Not from getting a low cost. They can cause it or not give you a low cost. Abby Adams. Low all right. right. So, <laughs> it's so let's it's let's exactly. let's come back. Let's come back to this. All right. So let's see if we can unpack this. So how do you advise a young man, Abby? So this is it. When you're out of school, all right. When you are fresh out of school, you need a way to pay the bills. Yeah. And the first set of jobs that you probably will get will be low pay on scale jobs. Yeah. Most people would feel that you shouldn't take it. I would advise that as much as possible so that um so so that you can fight um what's it called now? So that you can Sapa. fight fight depression. Fight depression, exactly. Pick the first job. Uh, Why are you touching the what fight Okay, so, so that you can fight uh, poverty. Yeah. Pick the first job. Okay, and even if it's low pain, even if it's low pain, uh, for a reason, for, yeah, for a while, for, for a, while. a while. I'm not giving you counsel I've not followed. All right, I remember fresh out of school. Um, the first job, the first job I got fresh out of school, the very, very first job I got fresh out of school, I, I had to work, um, I think it was seven to 11, Mondays to Saturdays, Sundays, I would resume 12, and the pay was. In fact, it was so bad that when the when I when the man when I asked the man how much he's going to pay me, he, he couldn't tell me. So he wrote it, he just wrote it on a piece of paper and did like this. So I looked at it, but it, it did something. The, the, the place was about a thirty minute walk from, from my father's house at that time. Okay, and so I would walk to and fro. I picked the job and I showed up. I was as um, polite and every single thing. And I worked there for three months and. The pay from I was able to use that to at least buy the first set of clothes or so. They were not even they were not brand new clothes, but 
you need to be able to because the problem with the problem with um, the problem with most things is that people fall into cycles of inertia. So, if, for example, someone goes for a particular job, he picks the, the job is too the pay is terrible. He turns the job down. He keeps turning jobs down. Whereas, it's easier for you to get a job when you already have one. Yeah. Because when you're going for the interview and all that, you're telling the person, it, it, it tells a lot for, for you to be able to tell people that at least I was able to hold down a job. Do you understand? So it's easier. People, people don't want to hire someone fresh from, this, from scratch or whatever. Most people don't want to. And so it serves and also helps you. It helps you in dealing with your family. Because if you have a mother or a father who tells you that you are, you are done with school now, uh, what next and all that thing. Uh, <laughs> And then you're sitting at home, you're, you're going on Instagram or WhatsApp and you're seeing people's constant deep. status updates. So at least having cash flowing and all that, then also you can use the opportunity to apply for new jobs. You go for interviews, you go for job interviews and all that, you get to meet people. In fact, a lot of people will tell you that they meet the connections for their new jobs while doing their old roles. Again, I've had that issue too. It was a particular job in which I got and someone where I worked there and all that recommended me for a different position so i think it's important that people do not get locked because once you're out of school and you spend like four five years post graduation uh, and you've not gotten uh, just <laughs> <that time. laughs> why do you say four uh, five years this stuff four, we are saying is not, it's not i can't believe that for five years they didn't get a single offer ah i'm pretty sure maybe they didn't get their dream job or i something. don't think you're being practical the, they must have gotten no, an it's, offer it's, it's, no i i think anybody that wants to work and is desperate to we work, work now. get a job i was five years like a <laughs> I mean, maybe, 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 maybe you have not got eh? your dream Maybe it's not like the job that like you want to work in. No, no. Yes, now. Nah, 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 nah. Job day, you like, if you just do like part, part time trips now, like. You can but, be a teacher now, that's a job. Like, now. Exactly. Ah, uh -uh. Teaching job, they find out from my area. You see, I'm thank you. 15k. <laughs> I, that's very exactly. I'm not gonna tell you, bro. Maybe you have to say. No, no, no. It doesn't happen in my area. It doesn't happen in my area. But I'm so proud. I no, it's, 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 it's that, not possible. It's not possible for somebody to graduate four or five years. You have to go to for four or five years. That gets a single offer. Would that get a job offer? Yes. Yes, yes except, he does not want to work. That's what I would okay. say. I know a friend okay. that he said he doesn't apply for jobs. Yes. He doesn't have a job. And he, <laughs> the guy wants a job, he doesn't apply for a job. It was that I was thinking about like. He has connections, Abby. Really get a job when he's not applying. But I, I, I don't. It's my friend. If he, 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 he watches this podcast, okay. Then I asked him that. Okay, he said it. I asked him where he didn't say. Even when he said that brother. Okay, then I asked him. Have you seen today? He said he has it. <laughs> I asked him how much do you have. He said he has some money. I think I asked him. You are going to take you maybe? He said yes. I said yeah, that's why he can't apply for jobs. Okay. Yes, now because, because anybody guess, that it, is. It, <laughs> and I asked him a question. I asked him, this might sound unrelated, but actually, it's my work. I asked him, Do you have a girlfriend? He said, No, I said, Well, that's why I can't get a job. Because it's my, it's an unpopular opinion. If you have a girlfriend, there's a bit, not a demand, but there's a bit of demand in it. You drive in to get a You'll job. get a job now. What? I'm, I'm <laughs> you get a job to meet the bills. To meet yes, the girlfriend's bills. Yes, now, for example, for example, he, if you have a bachelor, and a, a married man of the same age, mm. and some of them lose their job. You know that, but that married man probably gets a job faster than that bachelor. Actually, that's pretty sure. <laughs> yes, now because you are, uh -uh, you can't even sleep where well. you, 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 you can't even sleep for five hours. Do you want? You are sleeping by eight o'clock. Why are you doing that? Why are you going to sleep? I don't even sleep exactly. So the time when he's, he's got a key. Exactly. So I'll advise young men to oh, okay, so advise so young men. Advise young men to have children. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not yeah, like this. You're see. Like entry into dangerous no, 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 territory. No, 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 please don't do it. I that I have children. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not advising young men <laughs> to have children. To have children without no, no, getting a job. No, no. I, uh, I, I can't advise young men. I'm not saying that. Oh, please. <laughs> I, I can never say that. No, I'm just saying. But on a serious note, now there are people. I know it sounds hard to believe. All right, but there are people who find it hard to get jobs, okay? And I'll tell you why, all right? Some people come from communities where once they graduate from school, if they return back to the communities they come from, the yeah. jobs there, the job offers, they are terrible. Okay, yeah. I knew people, at least, and please, if, if there's anybody who's from Cross River, they should let me know. I am aware that in Cross River State, there are people, there are jobs that the entire job for the entire month is probably 10,000. 
That's a salary. Is he a actually actually teaching jobs? Even is he for it's a job or BSC or for SSC? Ah. Oji, Oji. BSC is an advantage. Oji, you know, just to my Oji. No, so, my cousin, yeah, 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 my cousin, like yeah. he has like guy from like Polytechnic, like ND. He's working at the boutique, like. I don't. I don't know if it's his manager because once the boss leaves, he's the one that handles everything from Monday to Friday. I to think Saturday. I will advise okay. you, bro. Me, if you are, if it's you know, it's like fifteen k per month. Wow, it's not fifteen k. So you say what? You think you advise him? I advise young men. Okay, you're going for your place like that that you mentioned. You advise him to leave. Why are you even going back in the first place? Okay, so the, so that takes us to the next thing. It's easy for you to say why should you go back, but you also realize that unless you have family, living yeah in the place that you trained or the school that you trained there. There are bills you have to cover. No, I have two friends that did it too. They didn't go back to jobs. They didn't go. Back. I have to. I have, I, 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 yeah, I'm not speaking to you. I have two friends that did it. They didn't go back. You're talking about when we graduated. You're talking about post. You, you're talking about youth service or no? Uh, immediately you finish undergraduate. We, we we graduated. We go to our final exam. They didn't go back home because the guy knows that they stayed back, back in Yaba. They stayed back in wherever they were staying in school. So, so some of them had to stay for. Stay uh, an extra semester with some students. They put money together, probably to rent a place. Just do you get? Yeah, do you know what kind of? They, they, God, what are you going to do at home? Miss um, Saoji, you are speaking from you are speaking from the perspective of somebody who trained in Lagos. Yes, that's it. If someone is trading Actually, in Unsuka, for example, me speak, I'm not speaking from myself. I'm speaking from someone. Hey, you're no, talking about University of Lagos. Unsuka. Okay, okay. I can. Let's University of Nigeria. Okay, Listen, let's let's. Okay. Unsuka. No, no I'm in the village. I'm in the village. No, Unsuka no, is can, can we allow town. to speak? Yeah, Unsuka is an invested town. For example, uh-huh. if you went to university there, perhaps in from one village in Enugu or something, mm-hmm. it's almost a confusing situation because the only thing in Unsuka is just the university. That's all. Oh, oh. okay. The town okay, is not, not not too. There are not too much opportunities. It's there. majorly a civil. You you haven't most worked. Most people are actually okay, civil service. Okay, I don't have yeah, idea. Yeah, even in Lorin, apart from in Lorin, some divisions. Invest is there, bro. The, that place is just there. Okay, I served in casino. I think I can. Really, okay, can, I, yeah. I, I think the only experience that I had that relates to was when I was serving in casino. Yeah. Okay, so you if, you stay, if, if you see, served Lagos, in, Lagos boy. if you served in casino, once you are now done in casino, yeah. then what happens? City boy. That's why I'm in Lagos now. That's what happened. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> so, advice. Mr. Oji. Mr. Oji. Mr. Oji. We cannot, like, I will repeat again. People who are going to watch this, we That's can't cool. be unfair to them. Yeah. We have to be okay. we have to be able to give them practical advice where they are. Okay, if they are there. You can't be telling someone that uh, well if you don't have a if you don't have a home, if you are homeless, buy a house. Yeah. Or if you are hungry, if you are hungry, eat, eat cake. Food. It's <laughs> not cake, yeah. that's not the we can't give them that kind of advice. We have to be practical. There are people who cannot go back home because the jobs they will get back home probably would pay them eight thousand or ten thousand. So so what should they do? All right. And those people also if they stay back in wherever in Where? school, they will have to rack up bills. Yeah. Bills in okay. Bills and dress, accommodation dress. And so we're stuff. talking to those guys. Those, so okay. we're talking to those guys. We're talking to men, young men, because young men have something which young ladies have something which young men necessarily don't. Yeah, sure. sure a young yeah, lady okay. probably may be able to get a boyfriend who is working. Yeah. Who possibly. may be able to help out older or than uncle, us, older yeah. than her and all that. Yeah. All right, we've done podcasts. The last pod, there was a podcast we did in which the ladies were talking about um, having having um, dating guys who were already working. So right now, is we're talking to young men. The, the man is out of school. The young man has is graduated from school, all right, and he doesn't have a job, and he has been applying. So, what do we ask that man to do? What I would advise them to do is any job ridiculous at all. Pick that job and zero your mind. You may have to do it for the next three to six months and save as much as possible. Then after saving. To save as much as... Because you need money. Because finding a job is yes. a full-time job. job. Okay, assuming... Let, 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 okay, if the guy is any 20 grand, let's assume he's, he manages to save 10k. No. Are you sure? I'm, I'm not... I'm just... Okay, let, let, I'm just to, like, uh, that's boycott something. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Let's say boycotting other things. Let me just say, let me just say he's trying to save half of the salary, Yeah. I'm just assuming... It's very ridiculous. Let's yeah. say he's saving 10, yeah. save, 10, 20, save 10. Now, let's assume the guy does that stuff for six months, like you said. That's 60k. What do you advise the guy to do with the 60k? Is it to, to move out of that place? No, I won't advise... I won't advise the guy to move out of the place. But I will tell him that... Whether I like you or not, he, he, he needs to have... Um, you need tools to be able to apply for jobs. You need to, you need internet access. Yes. Right. You need to be able to 
transport yourself to job interviews. Is, yeah. You need at least one. You need at least one piece of one piece of clothing mm -hmm. that you keep interview aside worthy. somewhere. Interview worthy. Oh for a long time, for for a long, you're laughing. It's it's it sounds I get, ridiculous. I get, I get, I get, I get what I'm saying. People have to follow process. Not everybody is going to start with is with um, a silver spoon in his mouth. Yeah, sure. Sometimes you're going to start out with your first set of tools, and your first set of tools will build the next set. Yeah. Okay. For a long time in in my wardrobe and all that, I had one particular suit. I always had a suit that was brand new, that never worn. I just left. I just kept there. All right, and I will only wear that suit when I probably had to do maybe a product pitch or pitch for a project and all that a lot of times even a lot of times I've, we've, we've done we've done stuff i think there was a young man who came for a particular interview if you recall that came in native or so mm, and i think came with bedroom not bedroom slippers or so or leather um, one funny i remember the guy remember the guy i know so and unfortunately jobs they tend to be very very competitive in the sense that because there are lots of people who are graduating and there are few opportunities Shots. So whatever it is, the person, whatever job the person get, just get the first job out the door and save as much as you can. If your job, if your job affords you um, internet access, or if if you find a way in which, if you find a way, a place in which you can, um, you can either borrow data or get free Wi-Fi to apply for the person, you just take it because the first, the first thing in the first six months to one year, all right, is to get a job that will afford you some form of breeding space yeah. and you need to get your first job to get that okay that's one yeah that's one like. secondly if you get a job your second also is, is also if, even if it's not stated look for opportunities for training within the job within the role people okay and i'll give practical examples so for example let's assume the person lands a job in the in the, in a grocery store maybe somewhere like a grand square or grocery bazaar yeah you, or, like a mall like yeah. a mall or whatever a person who as much as possible try to see, get himself posted to the bakery. Why? Why? Because learning to bake or it's learning how to work uh, bakery tools and all that yeah. uh, will it's, take it's you out of manual work. Because usually what happens is this, the very first jobs that people okay. have, you are competing with, you are competing with people who have not gone to, who, have, who don't have tertiary education. Okay. And the, the disadvantage you have is they probably have been doing the job longer than you. So they mm -hmm. have more experience in that job in that job than you that's why your tertiary education i met a particular lady who was um who, who graduated and for years in fact funny story i picked her up twice i picked her up the first time i picked her up i know that uh, she was she had this uh, what, what do you call this 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 bob mali was bob mali she did bob mali i know that this bob dread mali, uh, is this more this dread? That one dread. The weave. may god okay. forgive me she i picked her up i, I just Someone, someone with me down, and I, I you give her. Picked her up, I give her. I give her a ride. I give her a ride. Picked her up, yeah. So, so I give her a ride. Okay, so she waved me down. I gave her a ride, and as I gave her a ride, I was looking at the girl. I told her, I said that, I said you, you are going to think I'm a prophet, but I know some things about you. She said like what? I said, for example, I knew that this morning, when you had your bath, you batted with a blue sponge. She looked at me as if ah, I'm a prophet or so. Basically, it's the future. Ah, how could I know that? And I told her, I said, because a strand of the sponge is still in your air. <laughs> okay, and then we got talking, and then she told me how she graduated from a school. I think it was in, um, she went to school in um, Benin Republic or so, and all that. She graduated, with, I can't remember the degree she came up with, and then she came back and said, she has been going up and now looking for jobs. She said that even as she's talking to me, she's extremely hungry. She had not eaten that morning. Then she woke up with hunger and all manner of things. And this was evening time, where? Because this was this was early in the morning. She didn't eat the day before. Okay. She woke up hungry <laughs> and all that and that. One, oh. So she told me all manner of one, things. The one, job that she told me about. We're not started working on some of the projects we're working on. This was like uh, four, years four five years ago and all that. So, and then we got talking. And the next thing she told me was. That she told me a couple of jobs she has done that she picked a factory job the job was 40k or so back then and then she was doing the job four years ago 40 job was paying 40k and there were people in the factory did not like her so why would why would don't like it because they are looking at that that she said they, they tell her that you went to school and they also went to they did not go to school and yet yes that's why all your school you still came back to be, be dragging this factory work with us and i was trying to encourage her that well so what happened? She said she gave up the job because she got she got tired of the insults and all that. So right now she was going up and down looking for 
a better paying job. job. That was where we met and we got talking and, and I think we exchanged phone number. I told her to call me or so and she didn't call. About three years ago, about three years after, I met her again around the same spot. So when she flashed me, she was waiting for you. When when she flashed, I, I, I gave her a lift again. She said, I've given you a lift before. And I said, three years after. Three, oh, years, three after, days after. Three years. <laughs> I figured that she was simple because she had this kind of scorn behavior that she was okay. and all that. And I, asked, and I told her a couple of her story, the Benin Republic story and every single thing. They said, ah, that apparently that's the way she transports herself. She gets rides. So you can't remember She, she flashes, remember. She, she, she takes free rides. Going, yeah. coming every day. Agba, each takes free, eh? Agba, each, each, each I can. <laughs> so next thing she told me that do I want to buy life insurance or so. I'm like, what happened? Life? She said she, she's selling life insurance now. She's working with... Her phone rang, said it's a boss from work or whatever and every single thing. That the pay is terrible and all that. She complained about the job and everything. I said, okay, well, three years. Factory work. She's working in life insurance right now. Oh, shit. You're saying it's hard. Difficult. And that's for a woman. <laughs> that's for a woman who has a payment system that <laughs> is Global illegal. Global yes. <laughs> you get? So for you as a young man that <laughs> you're on your Global own, Baba, <laughs> you get so but the point is this so that's why i would say i've said that they need a mate so fresh out of school pick up pick up a job any job at all so that you are you, you still have you always have internet access you have it you have um so if the guy now yeah i get okay after like, probably i've been applying for one year two years because it's not like, so what it should yeah, upskill it should upskill within the industry whatever industry he finds himself okay with the tools that he has gathered with the tools that yeah. are available there you okay. working so good on question. Question. What yeah, is I get, I get. question was actually a guy so the bakery how can they upskill in the bakery you don't have I to can build skills no, no, no. in bakery now actually I, I think I'm yeah. particular to what you studied or your your field of study that's tough that you studied Baba that's tough that you studied don't put it aside it's like upskill in another ah ah Hey, I don't think you're not listening to all what I'm saying. I understand. I understand. You don't know what doing. This all country. the mechanical engineering guys I know, none of them is working in the mechanical sh- in the mechanic shop. None of them. You see that? You and see that certificate? None of them. The, the, the point is, you didn't specify. You said of skill. Of skill any way? That's the point. And that was what he was supposed to. Okay, okay. So what, this is what I'm saying. That if you are working, and so the the first the first job may be a basic job that is that is linked to that is linked to um. Oh human existence maybe food shelter clothing <laughs> clothing is still a bit uh, the job I ever did. but it's food shelter you can pick any of those rules the goal of that is not that you're going to the person is going to die there that's not the goal of the rule is that you take the tools that you acquire the, and then you find somebody else who is solving that problem on a bigger scale so for example if you learn how to bake with the tools in the bakery for instance the person can take that same tool now that you can bake very well you can now apply to a much larger grocery store. And when they ask you that, say that I work in social and so on, and I command this machine, that machine, that exactly. machine. And if you I can handle that, they can and if you are baking, cake. they can say, okay, you know what? Let's, true, let's true, see you. Yes, no, that of killing. Because yes. you need to be able to transition into a job okay. that would afford you time to upda- upgrade your skills. Because yeah. the, the headache most people have is this. They pick up jobs. The jobs are low paying. The jobs take every single hour of your day. And you cannot improve the skills. Your skill set. And so you find out that the person eh, after 10 years, the person is obsolete. No, obsolete. The person has spent 10 years, but each year has been a replication of. Yes. Each yeah. year has been, they get bored, been okay. 10 versions of the same, same year. Thing. Yeah. Same version, get, yeah. So I think that's it. So that's just the pathway. And what I'm saying is not strange. Nigerians do this when they travel out. Most Nigerians, when they travel out of the country, the first job they go, they, they do one month. Either they yeah, start, actually, they that wash gutters eh, or <laughs> they have a raw. Throw in book. Like hey, all those old people. Hey, take your old people. You go and watch the private necessity. parts of old people. Um, uh, ah. You get so the but the guy knows that I'm going to do this for for, time. for a short time. Exactly. Yeah. Then. It's not exactly. as if he's going to die doing that. Yeah, yeah of course. That's different. But if you now say you will travel out, and that is what you want to do, and then when you not travel out, you say that you will not do any menial job. Hmm. Uh, well, and you find your parents. You travel in back. Parents every month. <laughs> You go travel in back. You go, you travel in. You go, you go come back Nigeria. Come, come, I, come I, back. I had a guy who said that he said for like three for like three days he's not sleepy. In fact, he, he, for three days he's not sleeping in his house because he was just going to cut jobs. He'll, he'll finish from this one, shower, go to the next one, and then at night he will pick a security job. And he did it for 
There was one particular week for three days. Eh? He wasn't, he, at, he home. wasn't at home. The Chinese guys do it. There's a guy, I think if you find a guy on YouTube, the guy mentioned that the guy ended up buying a bus. He was sleeping inside the bus. He was bathing in the gym. Mm. So he was going using the bus to just transfer, transport himself. He would drive, he was sleeping in the bus. He wasn't, he would park the bus in a shopping mall and then go off to work. Park the bus in the shopping mall early in the morning, he would go and gym. Then after gym, he would shower. Be, shower. Oh. So the guy can mm. for gym for to solve two problems. To solve two problems. <laughs> to to keep yourself fit. The guy can fit at the bus. <laughs> <the bus. laughs> oh, now they move. <laughs> the the oh, bus he was oh. sleeping with, uh, he, had this, he had solar panels on the roof of the bus. So you could charge. Because he was looking at the cost of the accommodation. Of mm. course, you can also, their neighbors, you can't do that in a, in a, in a state like Detroit. Where gangbangers, eh, can come and they can shoot up your bus. So yeah, you have to wait. Was, you get, so those, yeah. are, those are things that were advised. Then also, um, I, I probably would say that it's not the time for saying you want to start gathering um, physical, um, you, want to start gathering, you want to start gathering uh, physical resources. How? Okay? Because it's not the time to say, you, how do you say, please let me translate this into English. When she, when she back in your favor, it's my tolly. Okay. okay. Uh, Matoli, uh, you want to start a uh, getting things. To you want to start, get start preparing. Being a big boy. We are, we are giving okay, okay. advice. We are giving advice to, to the young one. person who does not have, have who does not come from a family that his parents are. No, there, there are things you can do with the iPhone and that probably with the it. rest. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm in a. I think we've I think we've covered a bit of yeah. Then issue. that guy, if that guy, if there's someone in that situation that is in year two, I think for one from if that someone like that's in year two, should probably start. Early. Because do you get? You, sh you should probably start doing some things that will make it easier for him when he graduates. Probably from the year two, you have started picking up because there are some jobs in on campus, even outside campus. So from yeah. there, I advise the person in year two in that situation, that scenario. Like, to start like just doing working in a cafe or anything or as you are schooling, so that by the time you are graduating, you will have work experience, you will have small, a little money. You'll have, I know, like, oh, oh, don't do that actually counts. I don't you know, know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong. I'm okay, just saying okay. that that if you, you understand how hard Nigeria is, yes. you understand why the founding fathers they ended with the plague. You so help me God. I I I It's possible that you can be working on. Abi, Abi, Abi. No, I'm saying that. Yes, I agree with you. Side jobs like work study program. Yes, now you do. Let's say as work study program. Yeah, it's important. This is my own emphasis. Any side job you do, there are two things. There are two considerations you have to put at the back of your mind. Not even any any job at all. The job must offer you time. All right. If it's not offering you time, it must offer you opportunity to improve your skill sets. All right. That's one. And the second. No matter, it doesn't matter how small, the person should save aggressively. Because there are some opportunities that you can only chase those opportunities with money. I'll give, I can, I can keep telling stories. There, there was a particular time in 2000, I think it was 2013 or so, there was an opportunity in which was so important that I, I can't go into details about it and all that. But that opportunity required me to jump on a domestic flight and fly far away. And the only thing that made it possible was because I had savings somewhere that I could pay for a domestic flight. You may have a particular, you may, you may interview for a particular job and they'll tell you that you should have to come to Abuja. The next day. The next day. And you can't, you, you cannot, it's, that cannot be the moment in which you're now running up and down, calling people and begging, please help me, help me, and I need to go. So one has to prepare, one has to have that. Yeah. We're looking for practical. The person may not be able to bag his dream job in one year, two years. But the person, when the person sits down and tracks his progress, After you see that, that yeah, I'm yeah. on the pathway. So and I think and that's what pathway, we, should, yeah. what we need to focus on. And yeah, we're yeah, like maybe uh, aspiration or what we need to improve on. Okay. So I feel, um, I don't know. I don't know whether I put it directly. Like you said, um, communication skills, that there's a gap. And um, like I've been working on how to improve that for myself. So, you keep working. So, All right. <laughs> Okay, so if are you asking that? Are you asking that? What 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 what? What should a young man what, do? What, to, to no, 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 no. Okay, maybe. maybe yeah, just, no. I, I think, think you about yourself. Like, can you formulate? Yes, okay, yes, yes, um, can you formulate your question properly so that we can address it? You said that if we have aspirations or things that are bothering us that we want, we feel free to share, okay. and then from feedback uh, that I've had, that okay, I there's a gap in my communication skills, so that I really really want to work on so. okay so on that this is what i would say um and i'm not i'm not 
This is the ideas I want to put forth are not my, my, my own. I'm actually referencing a particular book. There's a clinical psychologist called Dr. Henry Cloud. All right? He's written quite a, quite a bit of clinical literature. Okay, but there's a particular book I would recommend if you, if you have time to go through it. It's called um, um, Integrity. I think Integrity, I think the power to face the demands of reality or so. That's the title of the book, Integrity by Dr. Henry Cloud. Okay, so you can look for it. And he says something in, in that particular book. He says that a particular mother would, a particular mother was chasing him up and down. And she was like, she, was, she, she kept asking him that, what, does, what can she do that she wants him to advise her son? The mother was like, yeah, give my son advice, give my son advice. She, the, the, the woman caught him at a conference, dragged the son to meet him and said, can you give my son advice on how to succeed? And he said he gave the son, he it it thought that what would he tell, what would he tell the son? And then he came up with three things. The first thing he said was this, you have to attain competence, all right, in one field, preferably, preferably across multiple fields, but you need to attain competence in one field. And competence means that by the time everybody sees you, they recognize you as some form of expert in, in, in this particular thing. skill, yeah. yeah. You need to. And it does not mean that, it doesn't mean that maybe, it doesn't have to be an academic work. It could be, it could be something as, as, as basic to civilization, as welding. So you need competence, all right? The second thing you need, all right, is you need the ability to build alliances. Why? Because the kind of things that you, the kind of things you will need to, to get that kind of excellence or success you are chasing, most of the time, you can't do it alone. You, you, you need to be able to talk to lots of people. And that's where the skill of communication comes in. Your ability to convince people verbally and your ability to convince people in writing, it matters. Because the lot, a lot of the resources that you will need, all right, to succeed in whatever endeavor or business enterprise that you will choose to go into later in the future, those skills, those resources are in other people's pockets. And you have to find a way to unlock it. And the one way of unlocking it uh, is verbal and written communication. And then the third thing you need is integrity. That means that when people, when you build alliances and when you are competent and you are achieving success or you are attaining progress in whatever career or path that you are on, you do not blow it up. Okay? Either by either by either defrauding people or either by engaging in activities uh, that will betray the trust of people around you. So those three things are essential. Okay, and so in what I have spoken, when we're talking about young people, anybody starting out, the first thing is competence. The person has to be extremely, if you are skilled, you will stand before, before great people and not yeah. before ordinary people. The second is you must learn how to talk. So how do you address the issue of talking? The only way you can, there are two things that people will advise you. The first thing is you have to learn to write. And that means that take your thoughts, say, and write it down. Why? Because when you write things out there, you Clarify writing it thoughts. clarifies your thoughts. Yeah, true. Okay. Then second, every opportunity you have to, to articulate your thoughts, you take it. Yeah. Because a lot of people, the people who govern or the people who lead in today's world are not necessarily the best people. But there are those people who have have been able to position themselves as leaders, have been able to build alliances, and have been able to talk and convince people to follow them. And they've, they've also been able to live their life in such a way that they do not put themselves ahead of others in a way mm -hmm. that people get pissed at them. You understand me? So, so that's it. So if I were to advise anybody, I would say that pick a particular area in which you want to become good at and see as much as possible as how you can either study or learn as much as you can about that industry. Practically. Practically in a way that you can convert that skill into money. And that would have, if it starts out by asking, what do people want? What are the skill sets that are needed along getting this thing to people? And then what do I need to know to deliver that? Then how do I talk to people in such a way that they will be willing to part with their resources because it benefits them, not you? All right? So, and it's, it's a work in progress. Unfortunately, or rather fortunately, these are skills that one has to learn concurrently. People will tell you that people will get promoted in organizations tend not to be the best people. Yeah, the people who are who are extremely skilled there eh, at um, navigating and interacting with people. So you you end up finding out that some people are extremely skilled at the work they do, but put them in a room where you have lots of people and you expect them to talk and carry people along. They're not good at it. 
And so when it comes to when it comes to promoting people into higher roles, or when it comes to picking people to handle leadership roles, the first people, first question that the lot of people who have to make that decision will ask is, what matters is not can this person do the job. What matters is can this person inspire people to do the job to do their jobs. And so they were like, who is the person, who, who, who can, who is the person that when he talks to people, people will follow and people would listen to? Or who is the person who has built those kind of alliances? And once they look at it, like, okay, this is the person that we showed. So that's why it seems as if people say office politics, this person got a promotion, he's always doing eye service. It's not necessarily eye service. The person can communicate what matters to people. Do you understand me? So now, so to, to recap every single thing we've said so that we, we, can, we, can, we can close out this show. And we'll be doing a lot of, we'll be doing a lot of that in... In the weeks and the months to come. If you have anybody who is young, who is graduating university, who is fresh in the labor market, our advice, young men, whatever job, it doesn't matter how ridiculous, just pick the first job. The first job is to get you through the door. The first job is to help you to pay the bills so that you will not be a burden to other people. The first job is to enable you to have internet access, to buy your suit, to go for job interviews. Pick that job. Save up whatever it is that you can acquired skills there look into that organization and figure out what ways can we solve problems for, for this organization and once you acquire the skills there to solve problems the next thing is this who else in this same similar industry has this problem that i can help them solve on a much larger scale do not impregnate anybody <laughs> it's important Rule well, number one because money is that that's no, money no, is going to no, go no, out no, the door no, and all that no, go knock. learn how to build alliances and no, that means no, no, to no, build no. alliances okay. To build alliances, alliances means that you would have to relate to people. You must learn how to talk to people. In order to talk to people, you need to find a way to communicate your thoughts, put them in writing, so that they are clear, they are exact, and then find a way to talk to them. So thank you for being a part of the show. Um, if you need advice, you can email us, advice at darkboard.com, um, and then we'll get back to you. The show is... We're still testing out quite a couple of things, so we would, we would, we would want your suggestions. So you can comment, please subscribe, like, and share. And follow us across all our social media and those. The information is displayed on the screen. And then if you like this video and you want to watch another video, so here are a couple of videos that you would want to watch. Just click on them and then you'll find them interesting. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of this. Adios.